Chance called me um, last night around 8, and he's getting out early. So it's 6.30 in the morning, and I'm um, getting myself ready to go. I, I definitely got to make sure I look cute for him. I really wonder how he's going to be on the outside world, so i um, super nervous. And realized, like, she's gorgeous. This is my girl. But, I mean, there's a lot of things that I wanted to do, like clean and get the closet set up for him. And I just don't have enough time to do it. And hopefully he doesn't judge me because everything's not perfect yet. Feeling super excited, super nervous, a little bit overwhelmed. It's a lot to take in. We didn't even have time to get the cameras here. Um, that's why I'm doing it. So... I don't know, it's just a lot, um, but I really gotta go. I've been waiting for him to get out for almost a year now, so I feel like I got like a gift of a surprise. I'm getting very, very excited. It's getting close. Ah, I'm on my way. I feel like I just want to speed to get there, like <laughs> speed limit. <laughs> excited to never come back to this place ever again. I almost feel like it's unbelievable that this time he gets to get in the car with me. They said that they'll release him at 9.30. So it's 9.24 and they better send him out here at exactly 9.30. Thinks that I look gorgeous and I want to be perfect for him. So here I am putting on my lip gloss. I'm like, I want to see him and I'm happy that he's getting out and he's going to be free. But then I'm scared because I've never been with him like in person. I'm concerned that we might be too different from each other for our relationship to work out. Most of the time I sit there and I think about how we could be like yin and yang, I guess. We could work together and where I lack, he doesn't. And where he lacks, I don't. I do feel like Chance is done with prison. I feel like he just got lost for a little bit. I've put my life on hold for a while. A lot of people haven't agreed with my decision, but once they see him, they're gonna realize that I made the right, right decision and I picked the right person to be with. No, that's not him. Damn it, I seen someone walking. I thought it was him. Like people leaving? You got a whole bunch of other men in there that you get to keep. Pay attention to them and give me mine. It's 10 o'clock and he's still behind those ugly fences. Hold on. I see people. It's too far away. I'm so happy. Walk faster. Come on. Babe. Oh no, oh no. Baby, get in the car. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, look at you. Oh, look at you. Mm. <laughs> you don't give me some tongue, I'm gonna get out of the car. <laughs> I was in prison for eight years for second degree robbery. It was probably the craziest bank robbery. And I was high on Xanax bars, definitely taking way too many. I was just real polite and flirty. And next thing you know, I'm getting the money out of the bottom drawer. <laughs> Even before that, probably got like seven or eight felonies. Possession of drugs, driving on a suspended license, burglary of a structure, grand theft auto, fleeing and eluding, resisting arrest, and second degree robbery. I think that it was hard for me to stay out of trouble because of my drug addiction. Vicodin, Percocet, Oxycontin, cocaine. There's a lot of times when I should have died. Nobody was there to save me. And that's where Taylor comes in. Oh, God. Oh. Taylor makes me want to be a better man every day. It's the first day of the rest of my life. Starts right here with this woman. Let me see your tattoo of me. I need to shave it. You're growing a beard. <laughs> Don't let me grow a beard. Look. Aww. I, I got a pimple on my nose. You're always on my side, baby. Yeah. Aww. Aww. 
see something real quick. I'm so happy. It feels amazing to be able to touch him and kiss him. Mm. <laughs> You've been waiting forever for that, huh? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> we ready for us to like go sneak off and go home and have sex or do whatever grown people do. <laughs> Up in here, they're like, <laughs> they're like, what are they doing? <laughs> oh, I love your boots. Yeah, I mean, you would. Babe, we got a problem. You're crying. <laughs> we're broke down. Yeah, we're dead. What are we gonna do? I got like 10 things on my yeah, mind babe. that we can do right yeah, now. Yeah, I planned it. <laughs> this is really like some kind of sick joke. Hey, will you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Babe. Mm. Will you go ask someone to jump on? <laughs> Coming. What? Hey guys, I got some duffer tape. Died. I mean, look, at least I'm getting wet, and um, it's like a free wet. I feel real bad. I came to get him. I bitched this whole time about how he was supposed to get out at 9:30, and now we're stuck here. <laughs> in light of it. So I really hope that this is how he's going to handle all of our bad situations. It'll make it a lot easier on me. me all right. Get in here. Shut it. Come on. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay. You know what? Nothing could ruin my day right now. I've been waiting. It seems like forever. I mean, but it's only been a year. Any day without Taylor is like just too much. She is definitely my addiction. You're yeah. so cute. <laughs>